was my second full summer here, and I've painted here before, and sometimes have come, but um, during the winter break and painted here. Um, so much so that when I came back this summer, I felt like, oh, I made a little space here. I feel like a little space when I came back. Um, and I just want to say, like this is um, in me all year, how, how grateful, really deeply grateful I am for this space. Um, because I was actually able to paint for, for maybe 10 years, about 10 years, I really wasn't able to paint. I didn't do any painting. I had been painting full time and selling my work, and um, and then I just kind of came to the end of the sidewalk, and I still don't know what that is or, or what happened to me, um, but I just stopped painting. I have a feeling it was a little bit about the demands of the market and the demands of other people, and I kind of lost my own footing. And I also had to, uh, well, the, um, the world was happening, so the, the market dropped in 2008 and I had to actually figure out how I was going to live. Um, so I had to go back to school and um, for the last um, 10 years I've been working full time as a psychotherapist and an art therapist. Um, so I've totally abandoned art, but it um, working full time is very demanding. It doesn't leave a lot of space. There's not much um, space for dreaming, um, which you kind of need if you're going to paint, um, daydreaming and doing nothing is really necessary for me to paint. So, for I had this picture while. Nathaniel was talking of what, for me, coming to this retreat in the summer, so I would have to go back in the middle of the week and see clients for, for two days, and then I would come back here. So I kind of saw myself as like stepping onto a stage and putting on my nice psychotherapy clothes, and then slipping them off and slipping out the back door, and turning into this sort of, this other world where, um, there's space, like literal space, and time, and uh, anyway, so that, that's what this has meant for me. Um, so what do I want to say about this? Um, so I really wanted to, when I was here last summer, not this summer, but last summer, I spent a lot of time reworking a piece that I had done years ago, um, and this summer I just wanted to have time to play, um, and, and that's what I did. And so all these pieces that are up, so th these, are, these are mine, these kind of blue, and those two over there, um, were really uh, just came out of me just trying, not trying, but uh, giving myself space to play. And not think about it too much, not take it too seriously, not worry about who's going to see it, but just just to play. I just say that this, that thing around the door, which is <laughs> really unfinished, was also supposed to be, it was part of what I wanted to do, because I had this idea of where painting should go, and I, I, I sort of want painting to come off the canvas and onto the wall, or, or onto something else, like to participate in life. Um, because I, I had that experience when I did an altar painting in, in Boston, so that's hanging in the Christian Community Church in Boston, and for me, that's such a different experience to paint for that community and have feedback from the community and have and then have that up. And every Sunday when I go, somebody tells me what they saw and what it's it's so alive to have something that is actually 
serves a purpose of interaction with people. And it's so different from painting for somebody's sofa. They have a red sofa, they need something with a little bit of red in it, it has to look nice. No. So if you're selling your work, that's kind of where you can end up. It's, um, it's not very inspiring. Um, so, yeah, so this came up. So, so this piece was kind of, I felt was the, um, what, what's the right word? Um, the end, the pinnacle, the, the piece that represents for me a lot, a lot of the play that, um, so often, like, when I'm painting, I'll, like, I'll turn on music, I'll dance around, I'll, I like to dance. Um, so, <laughs> in another, another life, I would have been a dancer. So, um, so I like to dance while I'm working, and so I think you can see that in the movement. Um, and then these, so when I finish that, this, so this painting is the size of these paintings. Um, and so when I finished this, it spawned um, trips to the art store to buy more canvases that size. Canvases that will fit in the back of a car. Or like, I think, <laughs> it's a really great size. So, but it, it's, so it spawned, um, so these pieces are, in my mind, un unfinished. So they're, they're beginning. And they're kind of the, the offspring of this first piece. Which is not here because it went into a show in Boston, which was really nice for me. I haven't been in a show for many years, so um, it was another uh, wonderful outcome. So I, I'll just show you the other pieces that are also not here because they went to that show. So these other pieces are, are smaller. The, the overarching theme in all of these was this emergence out of the, the dark. So I, um, that, I, I really got interested in um, watching the, the colors that are close to the dark, you know, the purples and the blues, and, and watching them emerge, which um, you can't really do in watercolor. It's the gift of oil paints. It's, so you can see something come up out of the out of the dark. Um, so I just kept getting um, mesmerized by this experience of of watching it just emerge out of this dark background and to see what would happen. Um, and my experience was it would come forward and and then and then sort of demand to come into movement. Um, so that's just where they are. I, um, I sort of like the fact that these are here as as part parts of the process because it's more what it was about for me to to paint them was the the process of feel, feeling that come forward. Um, and maybe maybe I'll just stop there. Um, and I'll do want to just. Stop, or do you want to have a moment for questions, or? Can we just scroll once more? Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> 